Return everybody to RimWorld. Welcome back. Thank you for your comments yesterday regarding what we should do with uh, the future of the series. I did ask you guys if we wanted to go back to sort of a modding scenario after we failed this one. Everyone seems pretty happy to stick with vanilla for a while. I am kind of glad you guys said that because there's obviously a lot to see with the new DLC, but there's a lot of for me to remember about how vanilla works. You know, it, in some ways it's kind of harder because you have so much less convenience. Like some of the mods are just so horribly imbalanced as well. It'd be good to uh, cut my teeth back with vanilla again and then we can get into the modded stuff later on and, and it gives developers time as well to come up with some kind of cool and interesting changes for that so actually no maybe we will leave that i was gonna say we'll let forbid these go again but you know what we'll deal with that turret in a minute uh deal with that one before i head over there and go and grab all the stuff so i've been told as well uh from the comment section yesterday that apparently the quests where you have to just build monuments like these things here immense construction uh the gigantic blueprint apparently these are very very easy ways to gain as much raw favor as you possibly can However, the only thing I'm concerned about is you have to complete within eight days of accepting the task. So, we're also... I, I want to finish the throne rune first. So, to be honest with you guys, here's what I'm thinking. We'll probably just ignore these for the time being. Seeing as we have three days to obviously, to obviously deal with that. I think we'll just ignore it for the time being and then probably come back to that later on. Because these quests seem fairly common. Bear in mind, we've got two back-to-back -back as well. Um, and... You know, fingers crossed by that stage we'll have more stone cutting places. I'll expand the stockpile out as well because that's also kind of in a bad place right now. But we'll expand that out. So uh, actually, we should put a proper stockpile. We'll do that today along with this. Now, I want to test something today because having read a lot of feedback from um, particularly people on Reddit regarding this version of RimWorld 1.1 and the royalty pack, everyone's saying right now that the meta seems to be with schedules. Just go full-blown recreation. Just go full-blown recreation, especially when playing on Savage or like we are on Merciless. It just helps manage the moods. Got granted, their moods are already in an incredible place. But apparently with this, they will always just do their recreation first. And then will always just work anyway. So it's kind of like a... It's, it's essentially the safest way to go about things. We're just going to test it for a little bit, even if we only do it for half the episode or whatever. See how productive they actually see. I'll keep a close eye on them, make sure they're still doing their jobs or whatever else. But hopefully it'll keep them in their constantly high and good moods. The actual post on Reddit I saw said, give them four hours a day of sleep and then the rest of it set to anything. But someone pointed out to me that anything is the same as recreation, but recreation will, they'll prioritize doing recreation over certain other jobs. Um, whereas anything, they might force themselves to work a little bit longer. So we'll see how this works instead. We might even just want to go a full day of anything, even if they are staying in a pretty decent mood. Oh, we've also got Newt here as well. We might even just stick with this until they've got the throne room and the bedrooms and everything built as well. Until we've got all our luxuries in place. Maybe then we'll go back to a more work-specific one. But I want to test out some various stuff. Because that's the whole point of the series as well. Is obviously to be uh, trying out these various new things we can mess around with and do with RimWorld. Uh, where are we going to put some extra bedrooms then? Um, <laughs> realistically, I have no idea. Of course, we were planning out over here. But now we've ended up with a gigantic sort of throne room. We could put one there and build a corridor that loops round back into the base. Similar to kind of how we're planning on doing with this side as well. We need more stone cutting benches, don't we? I might even say make any stone blocks, because as we've seen with a couple of these jobs, the immense construction one requires slate, sandstone, and steel. We don't have any of those anyway. So why don't we set that to... So what, what do we have on the map? I guess we only have slate, sandstone, and marble then. Otherwise, they wouldn't be suggesting a shit that we can't. Um, yeah, we do have. We, so we have sandstone there, we have marble there, and we have some slate. Okay, cool. So why don't we say make 250 of each of those blocks? Or maybe make like 400, because I think one of those quests had 400 as a... Uh, I wish we could say now historical. What did, what did we want here? Oh, it's 240. My bad. So we'll say make 300 of each as a minimum, and then unpause it when they get incredibly low. I think that's a much better plan. Let's take a look at Newt and see what he's got. Oh, harvesting growing. Wow, he's our best plants worker by the looks of it, uh, just at a glance. Oh, he's not slightly quite as good as... Are they both level 14? Level 13? You know, that works out absolutely fine for us as well. So, especially given the size of the farms we've got going on right now, the animals and things like that too. Um, it also takes a little bit of stress off of our cook there as well. So, see, harvesting and growing can be definitely your highest priority. Plant cutting as well. I'm going to say that's a maximum for everyone. I should have done that anyway. Um, what else are you good at? He's also good at intellectual. Oh, right. That was basically the reason why I prioritized him, wasn't it? Now, that will also come in quite handy because bear in mind, Omega will gain less and less jobs as she progresses through the stages of royalty. So we want to be very careful that we don't train one person up to the highest reaches of intellectual here, obviously, because she's up to 18 out of 20. Work on this guy as well for a little bit. We might even want to flip that round so that this guy's the only one doing research and she's not anymore. It seems a shame not to use it while we've got access to it, though. Um, hmm, I'm not sure about the best way to, uh, to do this, to be honest with you. Let's put a second research bench. Why not? Um, we can just about fit one in. My God, that's horrible. 
Okay, um, we'll do that, and then I guess we could always smash this door through, uh, make this into one big room, and then build a specialized stockpile as well. I think that's something that's kind of long overdue at this stage. Let's remove those. Then when he's not plant cutting, we'll have him stone cutting. I think that's a sensible thing to do. Um, then the other one is LeBlanc, the jailbird, who is handling training. To be fair, there are a lot of animals that need, obviously, handling and training there, too. Do we have enough? Uh, we will have enough components for that if we go and dispatch that last mechanoid turret. So we're going to do that one next, although it might not be the best idea. Fine. Oh, right. Okay, here's another thing I was told as well. This, thank you for the, this hint, by the way. I think this was in the comment section yesterday. That the, the fine carpet counts as... Uh, counts as, as what you can use for the, th the throne room. However, it uses way less resources, because obviously the, the time spent stone cutting is extremely long. We'll o obviously need that to also build monuments and things out of. But apparently carpet gives the equivalent, yeah, four beauty versus regular carpet, which is two. And then the tiles, which are all the same, gives one. So actually, does marble tile give slightly more? No, they're all the same. Wow, okay, let's put down a load of fine carpet then. How much we got right now? 1,971. So we can't put down a huge amount. We are still growing cotton. It might be a good idea to build, to, to put down a load more cotton as well. Of course, the, the, the standard benefit to using tiles over carpet is that things are less flammable, but if we're using wooden floors in every room anyway, for us, it's just a, a straight upgrade rather than a sidestep. Let's absolutely do that. And of course, it takes a lot more time to build the, the, the stone tiles as well. There's a lot of benefits to it. Let's put down a bigger growing area, seeing as we've got a guy who's apparently very, very good at growing cotton and such things. So let's go for uh, a little bit more cotton there. Wow, it's actually 6,545 to finish that one off. I think it would make more sense. Bear in mind, the throne room, I imagine she's not going to be, and none of our colonists are going to be in very frequently. I think it would make more sense, and bear with me on this one, to carpet over this room. Use the tiles that we gain back from this room to finish just tiling off this room as we've already started there. I know I just gave a load of reasons why that would be fine, but 608. I want to get the throne room just done as soon as possible so that she'll shut up about not having a throne room. And so that we can focus on building some of those monuments instead. So I think this is a, a kind of temporary but, but better use of it. And then swap that out for burgundy tile and then maybe even replace that with burgundy carpet as we go along as well. Try and get this in every room. But I mean, to carpet over the whole base, it's going to be monumental. We're looking at like 10,000. So we need to wait for another trade ship to come through so that I can uh, maybe negotiate with them. See if, we can get a, see if we can get a decent deal on some carpets. So LeBlanc just ran over to the Mechanoid Hunt and got himself shot. Um, I can only assume he was trying to get some stone for stone cutting or something like that. I have no idea how we're supposed to deal with this thing. Um... I don't want to rush people in, because that thing is so insanely powerful. We've seen what it can do to our people already. Not only that, it's protected on this side by a mini slugger turret. I'm really glad it spawned where it did, where this thing can only shoot literally within like these few spots around here. Everything else it can't hit. So, should we just go for, like, mortars? Should we just go for mortar shells and just take it out from a distance where we don't have to worry about it? So, we've done gunsmithing. Let's move on to that next. The reason I wanted to kill that area out as well is because we actually need some more components before we can make our... Next level of research bench. I assume our strip miner didn't find anything. The small amount of time we're actually doing it, unfortunately not. Um, sorry, what's on our muffalo? Uh, really? We've just we just kept this stuff on there, have we? That gazelle has been on there for so long. Oh, it's got a rotten gazelle in the. They just didn't unload the muffalo. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll deal with that in a second. So we'll try and find a way to 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 tactfully take out those those guns, but I'm not entirely sure the best way to go about it. Well, rest in peace. This poor trade caravan turned up and just thought they'd, uh, it was a war merchant as well, which is kind of annoying. Um, not that they'd have had anything useful, I guess, but they did manage to take out the one turret, though. Hey, look at that. So they've taken out that one, but this one has just completely ripped them apart. Just absolutely destroyed them. They did do a little bit of damage, but it was 256. Was it not a little bit stronger than that? But whenever this mortar research is done, I'm just going to shell the shit out of that thing. So it's kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. So Newt is kind of training up his intellectual. 9.68. Are we, I mean, he'll be a good intellectual character by the time we've actually got this throne room finished. Because that's taken a hell of a long time. Especially with only one decent builder in the colony right now. I'll make sure that's set to your highest priority. I know the other thing to do is like plant cutting, which I haven't got designated right now. But just in case something happens. The mortars are now finished. We're going to move on to prosthetics, because, of course, we did lose a couple of limbs yesterday dealing with those goddamn mechanoids. Um, prosthetics shouldn't take long to build. I just don't think we've really got the resources to see it through right now. We're right in the middle of, obviously, this full rebuild. So things are taking quite a while, and we're quite resource lacking. So I'm kind of hoping we'll get some good trade ships going through. But obviously, taking this apart will give us access to a few more components. Give us access to plastic, whatever else in the form of this mechanoid, along with all of that tasty, tasty... Oh, there's more mufflers as well. Tasty, tasty pemmican they've got lying around. I'm not every, really sure we want any more muffalos, though, because we've got a load of calves, and honestly, the ones that we've got are basically useless now. 
now they don't give any milk. They're really not as good as they used to be, besides pack animal too. I'm about to start butchering them for meat or something like that. Anyway, prosthetics will take all about two minutes to get. Let's make us some shells, because those shells are going to be useful regardless. We do have enough chem fuel too, because of course we've uh, been rearing these boomalopes for God knows how long. So, oh, it's just steel and chem fuel, isn't it? Nice, nice, okay. Um, I think we should always have 10 in storage. I think that's safe to say. Um, we'll drop that one down. I'm not really too bothered about the MP launcher right now. We'll try and get some of those built, and we'll keep them in a stockpile, perhaps near the... Perhaps we can even keep them in here as a weapon stockpile, so that if we get attacked by specifically mechanoids, we swap out a couple of people for the EMPs. That wouldn't be a bad idea. All right. Uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get to work on these shells then. Who's our head crafter right now? Uh, Jacob? I, I wouldn't mind using Omega for it, seeing as they are our, our, our decent crafter. But again, I don't want to put too many eggs into one basket, especially because we don't know when Omega won't be able to craft anymore. Shouldn't take him too long to get these shells done anyway. Right, Omega, you are on the mortar though. So we'll have him producing it. You man it. Let's take this goddamn thing out. Be dead. Be killed. Wait, is it affected by shooting skill in the base game or is it intelligence? It's shooting skill, isn't it? Stop. Uh, Rib? I'm pretty sure it's shooting skill. I should probably go look it up, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it is in the base game anyway. Right, okay, here we go. Boom. And... Phenomenal. You blew up the one thing I fucking wanted. You absolute moron. I'm so annoyed at you right now. That was the one fucking thing I wanted to clear this area up. That's the whole reason we got those mortars. Unbelievable. Right, well, I guess we'll just keep letting them try. Eventually we'll... Eventually we'll get it, I'm sure. Oh my god, really? Really? Hey, we've done it. It only took... <laughs> Way too many shells. You shit. Oh, well, at least, look, the rest of the area is free now, so I can remove them from this area and set them back to unrestricted. That's not good, seeing as we've just had people go out trying to grab some stuff. Uh, wait, four people? Oh, it's like different groups. Uh, okay, um, so we've got eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, yikes, this is going to be kind of dangerous, isn't it? Uh, LeBlanc, you haven't got a weapon right now. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Okay, get to position. Rib, get that shotgun. Yoko, get anything. I think we've got some spare machine pistols lying around. Could even go for a smoke launcher. Yeah, get that machine pistol. Newt, what are you good at? Absolutely nothing. Oh, God. Molotovs? Sure. That's different enough, I guess. Okay. Um, This might be a difficult raid. Oh, God damn. Right, you guys squad up. Get over here as well. Please hurry. What the hell are you doing, Rib? Get into position! Right, okay. No, 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 no. Oh, God, we haven't got any spare room for any of these people. Unfortunately, we've only got that shotgun still, so we can't be much use there. New I've got with the grenades. I'm just going to send him in. Just send him in. We're sending him in like the uh, like the Berserker from Lord of the Rings. Right, go, go, go. Pull back, pull back. What the hell are those guys doing? They're just like, they're just rushing us down. I've never seen anything like that before. Okay. Um, Who are we missing? Where's Yoko? Fucking please hurry up, for God's sake. I don't think we're going to survive this. I don't think we're going to survive this one. Great start. Absolutely fantastic start there, but my god. Um, I've never seen them just rush us down like this before. This is so strange. Come on, team. I mean, it's not going great so far. Yoko's been peppered. Penguin's okay. Um, everybody focus fire on you. Not you, though. That would be horrible. Okay, you just keep you just keep punching that person. Take him down. Nice, 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 nice. There we are. Okay. Focus fire on this one next. Free up Newt. Good work. Now you're next. Pull you forwards. And let's see if we can get a grenade down this corner. Go. Okay. Is that on target? That's miles out. Ooh, yikes. That was close. Let's try again. How are our people doing? They're kind of okay. They're kind of okay. All right. Take the, take the entrance. See if we can stop that person at the entrance there. Good grenade. Good grenade. Good grenade. Well done, new. Okay. Move forward a little bit more. Move forward a little bit more. They're, they're going to go for another rush tactic. Drop a grenade there. That was, that was okay. Nice work. Oh, no. Too far back. Too far back. Unfortunate. Go for another one. Are you guys just now not firing? Yep. Seriously? If they're targeting someone... Uh, is that actually a thing? <laughs> Unbelievable. There's some gold there, though. Um, so, because the person I told them to target is fleeing, they now will no longer target anybody new. Absolutely fantastic. The, uh, honestly, the pinnacle of game design right there. Unbelievable. Right. Take out Claire. Please take out Claire. Fantastic. Are we done? Holy fuck, what a mess. Right, rescue Yoko. We got some better weaponry out of it, though. We got some LMGs. That I'll take. Those are a hell of an upgrade from the shotguns, aren't they? We also got some medicine there as well. Um, let's undraft everybody. Omega rescue Yoko, because Yoko... 
now is not the time for an insulting spree, my friend. Seriously? Fuck off. Go away. What is wrong with you? Yeah, we're going to social fight as you're trying to save someone's life. Unbelievable. Right, okay. Give everyone else the uh, the treatment here. We should be fine. I don't think anyone was at risk of bleeding out. No, two conditions need tending. Infections, sure. Those are manageable, but actually dying a horrible death, not so much. No, don't even fucking tend that guy. Sod him. Oh, well, at least we got that going for us. Jacob proposed a lifelong commitment to Omega. Omega agreed, and the two are now engaged. Good. Is that the second married couple in the colony now? Um, social? Yeah, we got a wife there with rib steamer. Oh, that's nice. I thought Omega was a psychopath, though. I didn't even realize psychopaths could get married in RimWorld. Guess we'll start rebuilding then. Build inexpensive prosthetic body parts to replace lost limbs. That's better than what we've got right now. What do we need to... How do we make those? Is that the... Oh, there we are. Um, four components, 40 steel. We do not have nearly the components for that. Oh, God. Um, we got some... We still got some down here. We've got one. Oh, Christ. What the hell am I supposed to do about that, then? Well, first things first. Let's get these new weapons equipped. I think that certainly couldn't hurt. So you get the LMG. Um... Newt, let's... Uh, you are the savior of this colony. Honestly, Newt has been, was just really held it down there. Got many confirmed kills just by himself. Let's also get all of these guys unforbidden. Uh, the next thing I really want to work on, flak jackets, armor vests, things like that. We've, we've only got a few people. Against these massive raids, we are going to get kind of pummeled a little bit. So I'd like to kind of even the odds a little bit, even with just some... No, that's not... That's not cash money. What the fuck is that? Mech capsule sealed? I mean, it's plenty of steel. My god, that's a lot of steel they've just sent us there. Um, oh, so as, as people have said, the... Are we sleeping? Uh, people have said the uh, the pikemen are incredibly weak to melee. So I will keep an eye on that. Timberwolf sitting. Oh, another very, very easy quest. Thank you. Um, take care of... It's five Timberwolves. Oh, okay. Um, sure. Timberwolves are sick with the plague. Great. So we've got to take care of them. Make sure they don't die, I would assume. Get two royal favor, and we get nothing else. I'm not so sure about that one, Chief. Especially when we've got this shit going on. Should we shell the hell out of this pikeman assembly line? Okay, Rib. Show me that you can show me that you can do this. Get on there. I thought, what the hell is wrong with that muffalo? And then I realized, hang on a minute. That's not a baby muffalo. That's a goddamn guinea pig. Okay. <laughs> on the, uh, let's see what we can do. Before those things come online as soon as possible, preferably. Thank you. Kill it dead. N nothing. <gasps> what? Is that what? What? Proximity. What? What's going on? Mortar. Mortar shield. Mortar shield. Ah, oh, what? Okay. I know that you're kind of supposed to sneak up on them a little bit. That's so annoying. Um, are these things? These things are inactive as well. Then are they? So here's the plan. These are really cool, by the way. There's plenty of, plenty of resources to be got out of these. I think we'll move our guys up to the top. Have four of them shooting at this one. Four of them shooting at this one. Wipe those out. If the Scyther wakes up, who cares? It's one Scyther. Then we'll try and take this out. We've got 1.3 days to do it. Let's let everyone heal up first. And then we've got Operation Take Out these goddamn mechanoids. So that's going to wake up in 0 0.3 days. And I have no idea how we're supposed to approach these things. Because there is a, there's a mortar shield, which we could send one person to shoot. But I have a feeling the second we shoot that, these will activate. And then it'll open this up, and then we'll get swarmed by mechanoids. I don't want to just wait for this thing to keep churning out pikemen at us, though. Because those are obviously incredibly deadly. Outside of melee range. So, here's the plan. We have something that we haven't yet used that people were telling me to use yesterday. But I didn't want to use it in, in case of emergency. Obviously, we were fine yesterday, so I'm glad I didn't use it. We have the ability to call in royal aid. Um... After that, you must wait to use it. How, what's the cooldown on it? I'd like to know. Let's do it. Call them in. Join me, troopers. Oh, they're actually going straight for it. Oh, they're just moving in. I guess it's because these count as hostiles, right? They are just fucking in there. Look at them go. Well, they've, they've set it off. Now we'll see how good they are. Oh, that's not promising. Immediately, they're dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no. Um, This may have been a mistake. They're just fucking dead instantly. Are you joking? Well, also, the Scyther, I don't know if you noticed, did some sort of gas. Or... Oh, that's probably their acidifier. When they die, they get acidified so that you can't steal their clothes. I see. Um, great, so now we just have to fight fucking mechanoids. Oh, for God's sake, really? That was our royal... That was the thing everyone was telling me to use. To call them in like that. Brilliant. Yeah, no, that went, that went really well. Get in there, lock them down. 
Oh, nice work. Wow, that was a great start. So we want to get this guy. No, no, no. Scyther next. Scyther next. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Take down that goddamn Scyther. Please, please, please kill it. Hit it with a burden. Hit it with a burden. Nice. You need to pull back. Uh, move, 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 move. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Charger. God knows what it's doing. But get in there and... Oh, there we are. And then let's deal with this guy. <laughs> you know what? We didn't know this, Royal Guys. I had this in the bag. Okay, we're fine still. Okay, maybe move to the... Oh, God, he's being shot by our people more than anything else. Move there. What are you doing? Uh, fuck it. Unbel I was just prepared to let him die then. Honestly, I'm, I'm real. Fuck off. Okay. Um. Well, there's a person there on the floor. But their acidify didn't kick in because they're still alive. I'm going to steal your clothes. Uh, How are their turrets doing? We need to take out those turrets, don't we, next? So... Right, how are you doing? Are you, are you like, going to die? Yeah, potentially. Okay, right. Here's what we'll do, then. Here's what we'll do. Put down a sleeping spot. Turn it medical. Rest there. Re rest, re rest there. Thank you. <laughs> and then, Omega, let's get you to tend to him very, very quickly. Okay, go get some medicine. I did not actually want you to do that at all, but that's fine. Whatever. We might as well, now that you're doing it. Right, you go home. You go home. Rest up. Omega, come with the, come with the team. I want to be able to strip this guy before they die. Might be easier said than done. What's the range on these boys? Absolutely gigantic. Unbelievable. Wow. Uh, let's see if we can just do that. Go, Newt. Newt might die here. Oh, God. Newt might die here. Um, although, when they're on the cooldown, we could just rush down with the rest of the squad. Yeah? But okay. Move there. Oh, actually, those turrets are not bad at all. Move in. Oh, God. The pikeman. I wasn't expecting the pikeman to wake up this soon. Wow, those things have got quite cool cool then, haven't they? Alright. Please kill it. Please kill it. Please kill it. Move up, move up, move up. Oh god, Yoko got shot. Doesn't matter. Fuck Yoko. Good work, good work. There's one down. Can it hit us from here? It can. Oh no, penguin. Okay, where's that pikeman? Over there. Okay, you stay you stay hidden. You stay hidden. Penguin, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but that's not it. That's not it, chief. Okay, well done, well done, well done. New, please strip them. Get those clothes. 0 0.5 hours. Go, go, go. Please, please get the clothes. That's a flat jacket. Go, go, go. Boom. Flat jacket, flat pants, armor vest. Oh, that's great. Okay. What are you doing? Melee attacking my wind turbines? You animal. Um. How the hell am I supposed to stop it? Let's see if it'll... Okay, that slowed it down. Good work, Omega. Uh, let's go bring you around there. Let's spread our people out a little bit. We need to go and catch it with melee. I've been told that melee is extremely effective against these guys. Just keep, just keep like confusing the damn thing. Right, Newt, get ready. I should have got Newt to put on the flat jacket, I guess, in hindsight, huh? Okay, go. Go? What's it, what's it doing? <laughs> now it's not attacking at all. Okay, rush, 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 rush. Uh, just go, melee, 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 melee. Go, go, in, 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 in. No, 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 I said melee attack, you fools. Go, go, go. Okay, there we are. Yes, there we are. Okay, I think we're probably good now. Nice, done. Easy. Not a damn problem. Um, we do have to go take that out in a second, which we will do right now. Um, Rib, how are you doing? Rib, come get this armor. Uh, so let's go ahead. Force, flat jacket, floor... Okay, hang on. Force, flat jacket. Force that one, force that one. Then we'll send this on a, on a one-man journey to go and wipe out the the other turrets. I think it's probably the safest bet. You're still bleeding, though. It's nothing to worry about, really. If Rib dies now, I'm going to be very annoyed. Okay. Careful. Careful. Up. Oh. Don't you dare. Kill. We're, we're behind plenty of cover there. Fortunately, some of they... Oh, my God. It actually got shot. And... Okay, that one's fine. Come on. Okay. Oh, fuck this. I'm sending the rest of the squad as well. I was going to see if we could do it just red, but this is ridiculous. All right. Come down. Come down. Come down. We can't afford for any of these people to die because they're all fucking married or whatever else. So, if one of them dies, then everyone's going to be sad for days and it's going to get very, very annoying very quickly. All right. Line up there. Move you back up. Oh, new... I thought they'd still be on cooldown, but I forgot these things don't have much of a cooldown at all, do they? Hey, there we go. And let's take out this mechanoid constructor. We're done. Okay, that was horrible. That was horrible. But we did get an armor upgrade, technically, in the worst kind of way that we wasted our our many, many day, however long it takes for those things to obviously kick forward. I wonder if we get some components out of these, too. Can we disconstruct? Can we not deconstruct that? Really? Okay. 
Well, everyone needs to get home and get tended, first and foremost. A group of donkeys have joined us. Great. That's really helpful. Um... So what have we got now then? We've got two donkeys, three boomalopes, a shitload of muffalo, and one rhino. Um, welcome, join us. Okay. How strange. Thank god we've started all of this hay harvest, otherwise this would, uh, this would be kind of a pain in the ass to feed this many animals. I might have to start slaughtering some uh, muffalo as well. Are we gonna- we're gonna launch berries at them, are we? Is- is that what we're doing? Why are we not making any more? Oh, to be fair, I guess we've been maybe somewhat busy. That's gonna be a lot of steel, though. That's like a crazy amount of steel. Why don't we dismantle all of that, get all of this stuff brought home as well. Um, I don't know what we're supposed to do about these. I guess we just have to... I just have to, have to go and attack them. Let's go see. I'm going to send you in. Um, do, we, do we attack them? Oh, we do. Hey! Oh, it does just give straight-up components plasteel. Wow. So these things, even though they are quite difficult, are just a massive amount of resources for you. Look at this. That's, that's a really cool way to actually get around not having quote-unquote infinite resources obviously there is the, the the drill mods that we played around with the quarry mods but this is a better way to do it this feels way more balanced because it feels like you've actually earned it rather than the quarry where you just sit there and dig constantly with all of your villagers what research do we go for next then we've got prosthetics we've got mortars um we did start fabricate let's get fabrication finished now that we've got two research benches we've got two researchers we're already halfway done this will take no time at all and also deal with kind of our main issue which is a lack of components how do you make prosthetics in the base game um, I don't know. Was that the machining table? It was at the machining table, right? Okay, so what do we need then? Let's go through the list here and just get these queued up. They'll probably take a long time before we can make everything we need for the whole colony. So, we need one leg, a kidney, but I don't think we can print those. Uh, we need a leg, an arm, and maybe a new arm as well. 85% efficiency. Ah, let's just make a leg and two arms then. Why not? And then if, even if we don't end up using that second arm, we can always, uh, we can always just save it for when we will lose an arm. Because I'm almost certain we will probably lose another arm in the future. I've actually swapped everyone over to, instead, basically all day work again and then two hours of recreation on either side. Reason I'm doing that... Oh, hello. Um, uh, what do you want? What do you want to buy? They want to buy 180 plasteel. We don't have 180 plasteel, do we? No, we have 97. Also, I'm going to keep that for myself. Um, realistically, the problem with our mood right now is not that they haven't got enough time for recreation, and not that they don't have maximum recreation or anything like that. The issue is that half our buildings are unfinished, and the only way to really do that is to obviously focus on work. So in this situation, it's probably more efficient to swap them over to work to improve their mood. Does that make sense? It seems a little backwards, but it, it is something we do need to focus on, and unless we have them on that mood outlet, it's going to take... A, unless we have them on that work mode, it's not going to deal with that mood outlet, so... Um, have we seriously not finished these carpets? Oh my god, they were too expensive. They were way too expensive. Are you- I- Stop eating my damn cotton. Stop, get out of here. Uh, what was that? Area- Area 1. Fucking rhinos. Get off my cotton plant. What the hell do you think you're doing? There's no one of these carpets taking edge. I thought we'd harvested that much, but it's the bloody animals eating them. Oh, I didn't even know animals ate cotton plants. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I thought, oh wow, we've already used- like, this much of a field's worth of cotton on the carpets? That's taken ages. No. No, it's the animals eating it. There's fucking hay grass right there, you weird man. That was it. So, LeBlanc and Nuke are now lovers, apparently, which is quite good. So, we can uh, give those guys the same room. And then we've also got a transport pod crash, which I've captured. Not really done much with, unfortunately. And then I built a little kind of area here to refrigerate some of our hay. Because it wasn't even the fact that it was going off. It was just rotting because it was outdoors. So, we've got a little uh, silo, essentially, for that to be stored in. I'm trying to blitz out this, which is why I was just sort of letting it chunk through. But we've got a bulk goods trader turn up, so this we do need to focus on. Let's go and see what they've got. They could have... Oh, they've got pigus. Have they got any cows? Because apparently cows are quite useful. No cows. Okay. Uh, do I buy some muffalo? We could sell the muffalo. Oh, uh, what are these? These are male. We don't need that many male muffalos. Uh, sell one. Sell the two muffalo male calves. Fine. Good, good trade. Sell that young male muffalo as well. We don't need those. Um, keep, keep all the female mufflers, obviously, because they're our breeding stock. Um, what have we got? We've got one female donkey, one male donkey. Fine, that's okay. I would like to buy, I wish we had cows or something like that turn up. We still haven't seen any quite yet. Um, you got any components? Components we do need. Swap animals for components. That's a good plan. We need cloth, obviously shitloads of it. So I might even buy all of that. Um... Sell them some buffalo wool. That's worth a fortune. And I'll sell them all of our just various furs that we've picked up here. Medicine would definitely be quite nice as, as well. I'll buy your steel. Um, besides that, though, plasteel coronet. Ooh. 
We will need one of those eventually, won't we? Could sort of cut out the middleman. Well, I guess we could build out of anything. Save, save some time. Um, blocks, wood. What else could we sell these guys? Uh, so we bought some components because we don't have any still. But we need to sell them something else. Maybe I can lay off some of the medicine. No, we need that. Maybe lay off on the steel. Just go for like 400 instead. It's 351. Um, we could sell them a couple more muffalo. Why are the muffalo worth less than donkeys? Because muffalo pack animals and produce things. What the hell do donkeys do? I have no idea. Um, okay. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can come up with a good deal here. So I've lowered the amount of steel and cloth that we're buying. Because realistically, those we can technically get infinite amounts of. So, well, I mean, you can say that about any bloody resource and reward, obviously. But, uh, with the mechanoid clusters being so consistent and being just ch chunked up with, with steel and various other things. Can we get these hauled? I might have to increase hauling very slightly across the board. Um, but it is providing a shitload of steel to our base that we wouldn't have normally had. There's also some more plastic components there, too. That and meteorite ship chunks. There's just a lot of ways to get steel. So, I lowered that one. Cloth as well. Although, it'd be nice to get this done immediately for the mood bonuses. That's going to be... I mean, the rest of the field is going to be growing kind of soon. And, in theory, we should have more because the animals aren't going to eat at all. Oh, another royal tribute collector. Um, oh, wow. We've also got... You can now have the technology to build at the fabrication bench. Uh, it also requires some advanced components to get started. The, oh, okay, cool. Very nice. So it's, it's a little bit of a tutorial there for players who are... The amount of times I saw that, like, how do I get advanced components on the Steam Workshop every five minutes on the Steam community? People asking questions about that. So it's kind of nice they've uh, added a little thing there to help people along. Right, okay. Let's move this Stonecutter's bench. Um, we could put it there, seeing as I'm going to put another door to get in here. Up here. I think that makes sense. If we put the door there as well, because this is going to be our new stop pile, evidently. Um, let's do a little bit of... Let's do a little bit of reorganizing here, Rib. The fabrication bench can go there. And then we'll move this door to here. And then we'll obviously uninstall that light as well. Very cool. Okay. Oh, or it'll just destroy it. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, cool. So fabrication bench is basically down, ready, and done. Um... Do with a load more wood as well, just so that we can keep all these happy. What are you working on right now? Is that a leg for rib? It's an arm for someone. Are we already finished the leg for rib then? Uh, oh, you fool. Sorry, I meant to do that the other way around. Because of course the the arm is uh the arm is generally for the people who are just doing things like stone cutting, which obviously will help out quite a lot. But the things like this as well. Oh, the cargo pods are right there. Fantastic. Um <laughs> and there's me saying, oh, you know, we get steel. We get plenty of steel. Steel from space. Yeah, like right on our doorstep. And here's our Royal Tribute Collector as well. Sorry, I'm, I've started like eight different thoughts there simultaneously. We could give them Hawk for three Royal Favor. Obviously, we're going to do that. Take Hawk. Goodbye. Wow. Uh, how are we chunking through on that Royal Favor? What do we need for our next... I know it's quite a lot, but bear in mind, that was the equivalent that we would have gotten for building the massive monolith thing with the insect nests and whatever else. So that is... I mean, it's obviously worth it. Planet replacements gives us the... Oh, yeah. Let's go for that next. Why not? We've already got everything else that we need. I imagine these just require a lot more plasteel components, whatever else. Maybe even advanced components. Let's get that done. And then those, I assume, as far as I recall, we also build this at the fabrication bench, don't we? So we need that thing to be built next. We've got enough advanced components, definitely. I think we've probably got enough of regular components, too, when we've hauled the ones that are just sort of lying around. What do we prioritize on that? I think, what are you doing? Sewing daylily. Couldn't be doing anything less important, then, by the sounds of it. Let's get that one hauled. And then I'm just going to send Penguin to go and grab all of this crap. Because clearly, he's already got nothing better to do. Haul those and haul those. And then we might even end up being able to just make our own components so we don't have to keep doing this in the future and have to keep scrounging around. We got there. One prosthetic arm is done. Who was missing it again? Um, I mean, Yoko is missing an arm, but Yoko doesn't do anything useful at all. Um, it was just... Yeah, this is why I had the leg higher priority. Fine. Whatever. We've built it now, so we might as well give it to someone, huh? Uh, install in the left shoulder prosthetic arm. Guys, home medicine is Okay, all right, of course, yeah. Best quality medicine. There you go. Good luck. Don't mess this up. Should have probably cleaned the room first. Oh, no. But the... But the well, well, the Empire's still here, though, aren't they? Are they gonna... Maybe they'll fight. Hopefully they'll fight. Get on the mortar. Immediately on the mortar. Take them down. Everyone else, let's squad up. Oh, God, but Yoko's gonna be under anesthetic for ages. Damn it. Well, at least the arm's on. So we got that going for us. Obviously, a bit more shooting accuracy there. God damn, this is gonna be worse timing. Right, I've really line up. Rip, what the hell are you doing, man? Why did you not get squatted up? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, well. Right, there we go. Uh, oh, because Ripper's on the mortar. Uh, right, get on the mortar. Go, please run. Run, run, hurry. Okay, set force target. Go for their shells. Go for their shells and watch them burn. Uh, right there. Just, just, just aim like, just aim like right there. Bad shot. Good shot. 
Ah, there we go. Uh, the Empire's still here as well, by the way. So, this could be fantastic. That's assuming they're enemies. I assume they won't attack one another if they're not enemies. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're not. They're not? Fuck. Uh, okay, line up there. Please don't shoot the Empire. For fuck's sake, do not shoot the Empire. The Empire's body blocking them. Okay, get get up there. Speaking of body block. Oh, these, these visitors are shooting them, though. <gasps> Please don't shoot the Empire. Oh, they're attacking the Empire, but the Empire aren't fighting back. The Empire are downed? Could this be armor? Could this be armor? Visions of armor. Okay, uh, Rib is, Rib is wandering. No, 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 Rib. No wonder. The Empire are helping out now. The Empire are helping out. Okay, thank you. Much appreciated. Boom, we've done it. A few more weapons there, too. Careful with those bullets. Strip him. Strip him now. And then rescue him. Goodwill with the Empire. Good work. Uh, strip that one. Is Trev any good? But now it's 17 hours. Because we might as well capture. Might as well capture him. More armor. F absolutely fantastic news. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Big brain plan. I was going to give Omega the steel armor, but hang on. That's not the best idea. Why don't we give it all to, to Jacob here? So give him the steel armor. Give him the shield belt. And we now have ourselves an unstoppable super soldier. Look at him go. Can we also give him the armor vest? I feel like it doesn't work with the plate armor, does it? No, it doesn't. I thought that might be the case. So in that case, give Omega the plate armor, seeing as they are our most important character in the base right now. Very good. Okay. I'm pretty pleased with that. That's We've, we've picked up some incredibly good armor today. What's the damage on the Steel Gladius? Uh, I think swap it out for the wooden mallet. There we are. We'll build him some better weapons in the future. Very cool. Thank you all for watching. We're going to leave that one here for today. This has been pretty good. I'm going to get a couple of our usual, and hopefully they're upgraded now, our usual convenience mods. Allow tool is going to be a big one. Uh, we'll see if we can get the workbench management mod as well that allows you to just sort of throw things on the floor and, and copy and paste bills, do link bills, things like that. Because I really do miss that mod quite a lot. A big shout out to Harik, The One Ring, Scott, Northern Bear, William Green, Anthony Gawley, Michael Mullen, Caden Carter, Lucas, Grimwolf, Jackson Woodman, Gogolus, Harry McGowan, Chris, Lisi, and everyone else over at Patreon for their support as well. Big shout out to these guys for supporting at the insane top tier levels. Much appreciated. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you as well to Harry Soth. Cogsell, Dranmere, William H, Kane GB, Llewellyn Thomas, Betamus Max, Haji Dumar, Brittany Lee, Wesley C, Adrian Eliasson, Demon, Rob Girth, Choma, Volta, Valkyrie, and Joseph Beer 2 for their support of Patreon. Big shout out to these guys. See you all tomorrow for some new Rimworld. Well, it's regular Rimworld, but hopefully we'll throw in some mods to help out with the convenience things a little bit.